What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am an energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general reading for somebody. Something about feet might be significant this week. Your feet, someone else's feet, I don't know. Okay, maybe you gotta put a little pep in your step in something. Um, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, maybe be careful where you step, be careful with your feet. You know what I'm saying? All that fun stuff. Um, okay, Virgo. Let's see what's going on with you. So, we're rising our Venus. I hope you're doing well today. Um, we're going to do two oracles and then the tarot and then some advice. Virgo. Why do I feel like... It's like, you know that something, it's like, you know that something has to change or be modified and you could be, I don't feel like you're upset about whatever this is. I just, you're just not doing it. That could be what you got to put the pep in your step about. They're really trying to emphasize that message, Virgo. So that resonates with you. Like, get to it. You got to propose to somebody for someone else? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe some someone you've been with for four years. Okay. Are you thinking about it? I don't know. That was not for all of you, clearly. All right. You have the magician here at the bottom of the deck. So you're manifesting. You're manifesting, you're asking the universe for stuff. Make Okay, so this could be where it is. I feel like you're just like, you're asking, you're, you're like, this is what I want. And I don't feel like you're really, um, either your actions are not matching what you want or you're not putting any actions to get what you want. Now, it, 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 it takes two to tango for everything, right? So it's like, you want to you wanna tangle with the universe, you wanna ask the universe for something, then you need to as well produce something. You need to move, you need to show some indication that you wanna dance. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like you're showing the universe that you wanna dance. This is like, how can I say this? The easiest the easiest thing is a relationship, okay? Um, actually, no, I have a better one, a job. This is you. This is you telling the universe, I hate my job. I don't want to be here anymore. Like, please, like, get me out of this job. Like, find me, bring me something better, right? But you're not applying to any jobs. You're not, um, you know, really looking and putting yourself out there. So that's what I, that's what I mean by you got to do something. Well, that's a good example. Okay. Because once you put your foot out, the universe is going to match your energy. You know, all right. You have the four of Gabriel here as the first card. This is the four of wands in the regular tarot. It says time for celebration, abundant rewards for hard work, release yourself from burdensome situations. So I'm getting two messages. Um, some of you guys are going to be celebrating something here soon. Oh, your birthday, right? It's going to come up like soon. <laughs> and um, or um, some of you guys could be releasing yourself from a burdensome situation. Let's see. You have ninth power, Sagittarius passage. Could be from a Sagittarius. Um, the ninth house represents intuition and the study of religion, philosophy, and higher learning. Oh, your intuition is on point with this. You're going you're gonna to be really lucky with whatever this is. A Sagittarius energy here. I feel like this is coming because you completed something or it's going to come in once you complete something. Um, let's see. What is this ninth house and four of Gabriel? Could that be about a job situation? You have the strength card, the page of um, swords in reverse, the king of pentacles, and the emperor in reverse. It could be about an Aries. Bottom of my deck is a tower. Okay. Um, it's going to... 
Yeah, Page of Swords is in reverse. I don't feel like you're doing anything. You're not like doing any research. You're not looking into whatever this is. Um, and it's like if you want to celebrate something, if you want to do something, you have to do a little more research. Um, with the strength care, with the strength card here, I feel like you're just like, oh, that's a lot of work, or that's too much. You have the Emperor in reverse. You need to release control here. Um, it could be that whatever you need to release yourself from is too much work. You don't want to sit there and have to apply to a lot of, a lot of jobs or whatever. Or maybe you don't want to sit there and actually, you know, go to this event or create, you know, the steps for this event. However it works for you, right? But you're going to be very abundant when you do. The King of Coins is here. I feel like you're going... It might be that you have to release yourself from something and it's like... I just feel like it's a lot of work. I'm getting like the Ten of Wands energy. But it's like you're going to be more stable, more grounded. It's going to be better. Yeah, it's going to take some work, boo-boo. Nothing comes easy. <laughs> then there will be no reason for us to be here if it was just us being here, right? Uh, we do have to learn our lesson. Like, learn our lesson. This could be a lesson that they're trying to teach you, Virgo, um, to release control. And I think I said this to you before, that... That's probably, um, you know, the, the thing that we know, I have, I always feel like um, Zodiacs is like a cheat sheet into being, you know, being alive in this lifetime. Because if you know what your sun sign, if you know deeper than just your, than just your sun sign, that's amazing. If you know deeper than your big four, that's even better, right? Your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. If you know more into that, that's even more specific, but even if you don't know any of that and you just know your sun sign, Virgo, look up your sign. And don't just go off by where, what, what any website says, okay? Read it. You know yourself, right? Read it. Whatever feels like, oh, yeah, that's me. Oh, yeah, that's me. Okay. And, the, you know, the negative sides as well, the challenging sides to being you as well. Because that is how you're going to know what you have to work on within yourself in order to attract everything that is meant for you. OK, so for you, you guys have this. And again, I love you. I'm not trying to say nothing. OK, um, you guys are very, very. I love Virgo. I, I think I always told you guys this. Um, the way you guys come up with things, the way you guys think is beautiful. Right. Be every Virgo I've met is the same. Like, I'm just in awe. I love it. I love to hear y'all speak. I love to. It's just I just love it. Um, it's the way that you guys have with words. Right. So now because that, you know, that just flows out of you and, you start, and you're so nice with it, right? You might think you're right all the time. And that's when the issue comes because then, because then if something is going in a way that you're not, that you didn't plan on or that, you know, you didn't um, speak about, then you try to control it and make it be what you said. When in reality, you got to release control. And even though it's, it's not going the way, you know what I'm saying? Just allow it. I, don't, I hope that made sense. All right. You have the four swords in reverse here. You're you're showing me like, yo, I'm, I'm losing my ish. I'm losing my ish. And the universe is like, we know. We know. And they got the tower here. It's upright. So I'm happy that it's upright because I feel like if it was in reverse, it'll, it'll be more difficult for you. But I feel like there is going to be a major change you're being called to make a major change and the universe knows that your angels knows that all of that they know that but you're going to be celebrating and having fun and enjoying your time because right now where whatever this is about you're not enjoying it if they're saying that you will be enjoying it because wherever you are you are right now if they're not working with you could be a work thing with the three of pentacles here um but it's like yeah make some moves start doing something Speak up for some of y'all. I just heard as well. Okay, next card you have is the Queen of Michael here. So this translates to the Queen of Swords in the regular tarot. <laughs> um, this could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone thinks you're really funny. I just got that. That's why I was laughing. I was like, okay, what the freak? Um, you know exactly what to do. The benefit of experience, a time for your career rather than relationships. Mm. I didn't believe that card. I didn't believe that. Um, oh, you're yeah, about to be tight. <laughs> you're yeah, about to be so upset. 
Because when I read that, like, time for your career rather than relationship, I heard spirits say, no, it's not. That's what Virgo wants, but that's not what Virgo's about to get. Like, I feel like you're trying to focus on your job. You're trying to focus on whatever. And love is about to pull up for you, boo-boo. <sighs> and you ain't gonna like it. Because you're, you're, you're in an energy where you don't want it. You know what I'm saying? You're very much in this Queen of Swords energy. Like, uh, what you want? Uh, like, you're very much, like, direct. Like, you're not, you're not playing around. And then this is gonna come in and you're just gonna be like, what the freak? You know? Um, you have um, modality and cardinal. It could be an Aries, Cancer, Libra, or a Capricorn doesn't have to be though okay um action dynamic um great force cardinal mobility marks the beginning of the season and the power of initiation <laughs> you being called upon and, and you know this is what i this is what i um i tell people this all the time don't close yourself off to love because don't do it i tried it doesn't work <laughs> <laughs> it just delays other stuff to come towards you because when you close yourself off to love love is the highest frequency so you're closing yourself off to everything any you're closing yourself off to everything and everything is going to take such long time to come towards you and then when it does come towards you it's going to be challenging to maintain so that's why you should just stay open okay but um let's see what this is what is this queen of michael and um this cardinal Something about red could be significant. Hmm, maybe you're going to be mad soon or someone's going to get mad. I don't know. What is this? Queen of Michael and Mobality. Four of Wands. Some of y'all really need to propose to that person and stop playing games. If, if that's the person that you want. If you don't want that person, leave the person. This is the second time this message came out. There's not, it's not a coincidence that it came out crossing each other. So if you're been with, you've been with somebody and um, <clears throat> you know that you need to pop the question and you haven't, you need to get a, step, a little pep in your step. For those of you that know that you should pop the question and you don't want to, leave the person. Please and thank you. Because I feel like you're holding up the person you're supposed to be with. You know what I'm saying? If it's not this person, you're holding up the person that's meant for you. So let, let go of this person. All right. Um, the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. The Page of Cups, the High Priestess in reverse with the Nine of Cups. You have the Four of Wands, the Queen of Coins, the Six of Cups in reverse with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Okay, so this person, um, this is somebody that is, uh, this is somebody that's stuck on the past here. Your intuition is telling you that this person is lying. It's crazy. I usually don't get, um, like, hidden energy from the high priestess in reverse, but that's what I'm getting. It's like your intuition is telling you that somebody's hiding something. Yeah, they're not going to keep a promise that they made to you here. Um, this person doesn't want to put in work to something here. I don't... This person does want it with the Nine of Cups, but it could be a Scorpio. Like, they, like they're willing to nurture it and all of that. But with the Seven of Coins in reverse, it's like... it's The universe telling you it's not going to grow. It's not gonna, um, but I feel like that's about to end because <laughs> you got the person that this is talking about. So this is, this is, this is what I'm getting. This is what I'm getting. You are entertaining something that you're not supposed to be entertaining because you need to end something in order for you to go towards your family, your abundance, like there's something here that is way more um, solidified. It's not whatever this is, okay? You could be married to somebody that you need to leave because you got someone else here pulling up. Way different energy. With the King of Cups, this person is way different. And you're going to feel that this person is more in emotionally mature. This person is in tuned with, um, I'm hearing like water. Something about water could be significant. Like this person could like, like snow, like a, what? Snowboarding. That's not water. This person could like snowboarding. But um, 
this person could like surfing is what I was going to say. They could like to drink. Um, but yeah. And I feel like this person was very like, now the queen of, the queen of, the queen of pentacles to me, she is nurturing. She knows how to take care of things, but you know, this person could have been missing the emotional part that you, it's like somebody could have had everything that you wanted, except that emotional part, except that emotional you know, and I feel like the universe is bringing that in for you and you need to listen to your intuition. Like, yes, this person is the nine of cups. Like I said, almost had everything, right? But then you have somebody, I don't see the 10 of pentacles, but you have something coming in that's a lot more solid and it's 10, it's complete. Um, you know, the nine of cups is contentment. It is, it, it could be a wish fulfillment as well, but it's also the nine of cups. It's not the 10 of cups, okay? You could have um, left this person and went back to this person and the universe wants you to get out. Like, get out. You might have kicked them out. They might have kicked you out. Whatever. Uh, whatever you walk away from, Virgo, you should you should leave that wherever you left it. You know what I'm saying? But Venus is in retrograde. So I feel like either you or this person... Like, this needed to happen. Everything happens for a reason, right? Um, but yeah, that's what I'm getting. All right. The next card you have is the Four of Raphael here. Seek out other possibilities. Look at the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. So there's something here that you're upset about. I'm really seeing that. You could be feeling lonely. Dragonflies could be significant. Um, you could be seeing a lot of dragonflies. I will look up the spiritual meaning to that if you have. Um, you got to go about something a different way, boo-boo. You do. You do. And not ignore how you feel. Don't ignore your emotions either. First house, Aries. Could be about an Aries. <clears throat> um, house of self and identity. The first house symbolizes the acting self, the personality as it appears to others, and the unfolding of one's individual destiny. <sighs> yeah, you're holding back how you feel about something. I don't feel like you're. I don't feel like you're expressing how you truly feel about something, and that's why the universe has this first house because they want you to do that. Because it also says, "Be aware of your own emotions." So it's like, are you sulking? You know, are you like, why does this always happen to me? Like, you know, don't sulk. Um, everything happens for a reason, like I said. So <clears throat> you could be being reguided. You have an angel watching um, over you. Because I'm looking at this um, this angel here watching over this person. So it could be somebody that um, passed away that is watching you. Like a past loved one. What is this for Raphael and um, First House in Aries? The world. You just closed out a cycle, that's why. <clears throat> Yeah, the tempers could be with Sagittarius. Three of coins, seven of cups, and reverse with the seven. Okay. The Empress at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. All right. Um, the world, the star in reverse, the four of cups, and the knight of swords. So I feel like something ended, something complete. I don't really feel like a whenever I endings to me are painful. They hurt. The world is a completion. I don't feel like this hurt. I mean, it might have been disappointing. Um with the star in reverse here. Um, eh. But with the four of cups, you didn't see it coming. It came out of nowhere. It's like, okay, this chapter's done. On to the next one. And I feel like that could have happened at the same time as, like you're, as you're trying to heal with the star in reverse. It's like a double whammy. And I feel like you stopped or... Um, you stopped going towards this. But I do feel like you you stopped healing because of it. And um, the universe doesn't want you to do that. It's like something could have ended and you are and you were in a good, like, you know, you were in a good run, you were in a good streak, working on your emotions, being open. And then something, a cycle completes in your life. Everything's, everything's meant to, everything's, everything's meant to come first circle. So whatever this was, it was meant to complete. And you're, you know, you're kind of upset that it's over. Um, 
so you're like closing yourself off to emotions to healing like it's just you can't do that i feel like um oh you're gonna have some supportive people pulling up to towards you here to help you with whatever this is because you definitely lost hope in something um because of this closure because of this whatever this completion was but i feel like what you don't see is that this closure actually brought you and other people together that needed to be like there was like a situation that needed to be mended is kind of what i'm hearing or like healed in a certain way and this completion is is um this completion is bringing um hold on Um, this completion is bringing people together to heal. I feel like you're not going to be open. Like, I feel like you're going to be pissed. I feel like you're going to be pissed because you didn't see it coming. You know, it came out of nowhere. And I feel like you're going to hold on to, to, you might, guilt is what I'm hearing. You might be holding on to some type of guilt here. Something, something that didn't work out. Like maybe, um, right before this closure happened, something you know, didn't work out, and then boom. There's like, there's like an energy of like, you wish you did more or something. Like, I feel like you're taking this really to the gut. Like, and I don't see the five of cups, but I feel it. Like, it's like, I feel it. This is, and you know what's funny? Um, This is going to actually make you start um loving you more. And I feel like that's the reason why this is happening, is so that you can love yourself more. Um, yeah, but that's all I have. The Hierophant is in reverse. Make sure that you're learning your lesson, okay? Um, could be dealing with a Taurus. But whatever this is, it definitely had to come to a completion, all right? Um, what is this nine house and four of Gabriel? Three of these? Dang. You have action, caring, connections, and journey. You could be dealing with a cancer or have it in your chart. You can't, like, hold all these up. Eh. All right. So, yeah. You're definitely, you definitely going on a journey or you've been on a journey. <sighs> caring connections. I told you. I propose or leave. <laughs> Listen, that's not me. That's spirit. Uh, and then you have action. Like, yeah, you need to put a little pep in your step. I, we, we already spoke about this. The spirit is just reiterating that. Um, the second chakra, yin and yang. Um, some of you guys could be overly um, worried right now about how people see you or, or how people are going to react when this happens. Who cares? Okay, your happiness is the most important. Everybody will get over it. Trust me. It won't. It might be the news of the week because you know when stuff happens. That's you know, it might be the news of the week for like two days, and then after that, no one's gonna care. Like people are gonna go on about their lives. So don't worry. What is this modality? Um, and Queen of Michael, you have indecision. You're not going to know what to do, <clears throat> so the universe is about to help you out. Like, they're really about to help you out, the thinking woman. Yeah, you've been thinking about this way too long. Yep, they're about to rile shit up. If you don't make a choice, they will. Like I told you, some of y'all, you could have Leo in your chart, or this could or you could um be dealing with a Leo, because they had the same energy. Was it Leo? No, Sagittarius. It was Sagittarius. Oh, you have Sagittarius right here, bro. Interesting. But yeah, you need, you need to decide what you're going to do here because if not, the universe will decide for you. They don't play around, all right? What is this for, Raphael and first house here? You have walking away. Yeah, someone could have walked out of your life, okay? Or you are walking out of somebody's life, but don't look back, all right? You have a woman... Uh, I, I want to... Take this in reverse. Um, it will be holding a heart in reverse. I feel like you feel like there's no love in a situation no more. Broken heart is at the bottom. 
So everything's going to be okay, Virgo. Everything happens for a reason. Like I said, heal, cry it out. Don't ignore your emotions at this moment, okay? All right, Virgos, all that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this. And stay positive.